If you were just to type all your keywords into the search box without any operators, you might get very few search results, or thousands of off-topic search results. You can think of each of these operators as a tool for solving a certain kind of problem that happens when you dump your keywords into the search box. Imagine you search the database for the topic hand sewing. The database is searching for the word hand and the word sewing. Most databases are currently optimized to try to find both, but in a pinch, it will bring up results with either one or the other. So you will find a lot of search results about hand sewing, but you'll also find search results that mention the word sewing and the word hand separately. For example, maybe a magazine article about glove makers who are machine sewing gloves customized to fit the consumer's hand. Quotation marks fix that problem because they tell the database to take the phrase as a whole and search for the words together and in order. As you can see here, using quotation marks took us from almost 600,000 search results to 16,706. That's because it got rid of all the ones that didn't have the exact phrase, hand sewing. The second operator is truncation. We're searching the database for the word educate. We get plenty of articles. Some databases can guess that you might also want the word educates or educated. Others can't. But besides those, there are also words like education and educational, and you're missing out on those. When you drop the end of the word and add an asterisk, you get all the different endings of the word. Educate, educates, educated, education, educations, educational. If you drop off a little more of the word and truncate a little bit earlier, you get even more variations based on that root, like educable. But be careful not to truncate too early, or you'll get words that have nothing to do with what you're researching. Third, the AND operator. If you don't put anything in, most modern databases assume that you want to put an AND between each of your keywords. So let's try searching sensory defensive autism pain. 269 search results. Again, 269 search results. So it looks like you don't need to use AND, which might be true in a simple search like this. But you should get in the habit of doing it, because it's very necessary when your searches start to get longer and more complex. A hint about when you might need to use the AND operator is whenever your topic is the X of Y, or the impact of X on Y, or X as a Y, or X in Y, you need to use an AND to join concept X and concept Y. Okay, fourth, the OR operator. Now we know that if we search Hockey, United States, Canada, the database is going to try to stick an invisible AND in between each of those keywords. Now we have 327,491 search results about Hockey in both the United States and Canada. But what if we care about hockey in the United States, or in Canada, or both? Then we put the OR between the United States and Canada, and enclose that in parentheses. I'll ex explain why the parentheses... Using the OR gave us a lot more search results, 2,202,909. We have so many more search results because the database is giving us not only the results that mention the United States and Canada, but also the ones that mention either one or the other. But OR has another use, too. United States isn't the only thing this country is called. You can add United States, or US, or America, all within the same set of parentheses, and that, that gives us even more search results. Okay, now for that explanation about parentheses. You already know that you need to put parentheses around groups of keywords joined by OR. The reason for it is basically order of operations. To explain it, let's first try a search without parentheses. Service animals and dogs or When I don't use parentheses, the database works from left to right. When I searched service animals and dogs or cats without any parentheses, the database assumed I meant that first it should look up service animals and dogs, where those two overlap, and then cats, and give me articles that had either cats, or had service animals and dogs, or had both. But what I actually meant was service animals that could be either dogs or cats, so I put the parentheses around dogs or cats. 
That way the database looks up that part first and gets all the articles that mention either dogs or cats, or both, and then looks within those search results for ones that also mention service animals. Parentheses can nest. That means that you can put one pair of parentheses inside of another, and as long as you close all the parentheses, the database will work from the innermost set outward. Here's an example. We've got our search, but I'm going to put the whole thing inside parentheses and add and wheelchair users. And then I'm going to put all of that inside parentheses and add discrimination. So what I'm looking for are articles about discrimination against either wheelchair users or people who have either cats or dogs as service animals. The NOT operator. NOT is used less often than the other operators, but it's incredibly important when you do need it. Let's do a really simple search for the word apple. In our case, we mean the fruit, but if you were to scroll down the search results page, you'd start to see a lot of articles about Apple, the technology company, and its products. So what we do is add NOT to the search, and then, enclosed in parentheses and separated by OR, a list of all the ways we didn't mean Apple. Apple, not Apple, the company, not Macintosh, not iPhone, and so forth. And that got rid of like 4 million search results. Like we just discussed, you may use not if the word or phrase for your topic is also used to mean something else, like Apple, not Apple, company, or iPod, or iPhone, or iPad, or Macintosh, or Mac, or MacBook. You may also want to use not when you're interested in only part of a topic, for example, dogs, not poodles. You may want to use not if a keyword you want to use is most often found as par part of a phrase that has to do with something else. For example, climate, not climate change. And finally, you may want to use not if there's a certain way of referring to a concept that implies a certain point of view. For example, Affordable Care Act, not Obamacare. So that's it. Quotation marks, truncation using the asterisk, and, or, the parentheses that you use to help the database with order of operations, and not.